Welcome to the 2017 Thanksgiving special. <laughs> supposed to have it oh ho oh ho uh-huh uh-huh nope sorry so pick it up and you throw it over the fence like with everything else that she finds back here to chew on you know you're not supposed to chew on it and Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Um, man, tired already. <laughs> um, and we are going on a little trip. Oh, and so I'm not cooking Thanksgiving dinner, basically, which is nice because my kitchen is as big as a not a kitchen um, but I am bringing for my mom's um, carrot casserole that um, everybody loves because it's delicious so that's my contribution even though I was told we didn't need to bring anything um, very simple don't have a lot to do but stuff to pack to get the dog the dog is coming with us so we have to get all of her stuff together and that and then when we come home we're only going for a couple of days and then when we come back Tanner is going off on training for a number of days um, so it's just gonna be me but um, we have to get through this week and then to come home and get him ready to go off on do his training stuff that he's doing I'm wearing the same jacket I was wearing yesterday. Sorry. It's cold and raining today, as you can tell by my frizzy hair. That's because I got rained on. Um, so I am putting together stuff um, for the casserole that I'm taking. Um, we're leaving tomorrow, and so I have to get all the stuff prepped. I'm not gonna cook it until we get there. Um, actually on Thursday, but I have to cut up everything, measure it out, get it all together so I can just throw it together when we get there. I'm gonna do. And I have, I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't be a big thing if I told you what was in this casserole, um, but I didn't double check because it's not like a secret family recipe or anything like that. Um, but I will tell you one thing that's in this casserole. Carrots. Obviously, it's a carrot casserole. So, I've got to get to peeling to these. I cannot remember the last time I had carrot. So, I'm gonna get working on that. I've got Golden Girls on the TV. And, yeah, here we go. here and we're here um, we're at my grandparents house in Texas 
for Thanksgiving. Um, Carmen was really good on the drive. She didn't make any noise or wasn't difficult at all. She slept the whole time. It was so good, in fact, that I got pulled over for the first time because I was driving in the wrong lane and got a little warning, slip and everything. So we're going over to family's house, I guess. I mean, what? What, Carmen? She's never been in a new place before. No. You're okay. It's different and it's all kinds of different smells and <laughs> funny looking people. <laughs> Carmen! Carmen! Come, come, come here. Hey, come here, girl. Come, come here. here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, good girl. Oh, yeah, good girl. Girl. oh yeah, good you come. Yeah, come on up here. Come on. Ooh, I scratch your back. I scratch your back. I scratch your back. There she is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> come on up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Crawl on up here. Get, on up here. You get the rest of you up here. Come on, come on. Carmen. Come on. Bring your hair to. Come on. That's it. <laughs> ah, come on. Get your back end up here. That's a girl. Now, you want to stay in. You want to sleep with me here tonight? Ugh. <laughs> You're such a friendly little thing, aren't you? Yes, you are. You get your friendly. Stuff full of floating around on you. Uh, okay, very good. That's it. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's it. That's it. Oh, there you go. This. All right, yes, that's my chin. You've got something in a little bite basket that you're supposed to get rid of that loose hair. Uh, you have a, a brush? Oh, yeah. You want to oh. brush me or? <laughs> you want to brush her? Boy, she needs more hair than the other two do. Well, she has more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, are you inviting yourself all the way up here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> tail, yeah, and that or get beat with it. <laughs> Carmen, get down. Get down, come on, get down. She wants to play.
so funny. Could you imagine if we let the Boston's out? Donkey! <laughs> Donkey! That's so funny. This crazy? What? How oh, that's growing back. There's one little. The one little stick. Out the side. Yeah. That's funny. A few years ago, when we moved here, I could walk under that and have this much space. It's gotten lower. So it's sagged down a bit. Yeah. Does the Jeep still run? Yeah. Okay. Sure does. <laughs> does it need a new battery? No, it should, it should start right up. Maybe you should you should park that out there. No. Nope. You stay outside his gate. I got her. You're gonna go or you're gonna stand? I'm gonna stand. Yeah. Hi Zingo. Back up. Back up. Oh, get. Oh, get her. Oh, get her. You see Carmen's like, what are you doing? What are you Stay doing? Woo. <laughs> Whoa, are you meeting people? You meeting people? What are they doing, Carmen? Ooh. Donkey doesn't like the dog. You get him, Carmen. Except you'd probably lose. Jill doesn't like the dog very much. No. No. Okay, so the, the boys are hauling hay right now. And Carmen and I are watching. And Carmen's enjoying. Do you see how big this backyard is? Carmen's definitely been enjoying um, running around and playing in here because she does not have this kind of space at home. Um, and she's gonna be so incredibly sad when she has to go home and doesn't have anybody to play with. You see that? Grandma sitting on the swing. <laughs> That's so cute. And then I want to just move back, so I move that back. And I still have three, three hot lines. A piece of plastic on the pipe down there has got water in it. This and this, and that line feeds that water tank and the automatic water in that horse trough there. Hmm. Have you been here before? It's a lot cleaner in here than oh, last time. Side of it, never back here. It's a lot cleaner in here than I remember. Oh, <laughs> Had all these boxes stored over there on some shelves. That's my oh. saxophone pads. Surplus. Not as much throw up in here as the last time we were here. No. <laughs> This is made in 1933. Wow. Busher bass saxophone. There's a lyre holder on it, which means they marched with it. <laughs> You've seen people march with saxophones. Yeah. Mm. Heavy thing. Don't hurt yourself. Good gorilla, hey? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not as much as the hack. Almost, but not quite, huh? No, not quite. I had to make this key. Oops. This key right here was the only one missing. Had to make some rods for it. It was black. Cleaned it up. That's old fashioned gold plating in there. This one plays good, man. Bought a case for it. 
and mouthpiece cost me 550 bucks and that was at my cost. Wow. That was fun. That's for like, that's Lakin's? No, this is mine. That's yours. Where's the one that you're taking it's to Lakin? Not here yet. That's what oh. I'm supposed to pick oh, up. Oh, that's right. Friday. You're picking it up. That's right. I've got to get this and that in the truck before Monday morning so I can take it. Those ones there have seen better days. Yeah, those are the Melody Sacks ones. Those are older than this one. One's a tenor style and one's an alto style. Now, C melody means what? Key of C. You play the piano music, but well, you transpose. You know that. Mm -hmm. She don't know that. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, neither did I, so. <laughs> or the instrument that picks the key of B flat. Clarinet and tenor saxophones and bass saxophones in B flat. Which means it's a half tone off from concert pitch. Mm -hmm. Altos are in E flat, a little bit further off. This is a C. And this is a tenor, you know, you know this is a con, this is made by con. This is an alto style neck. This is pitch in the key of C. New invention out here. Okay, and what did he just say? Repeat. Test. <laughs> <laughs> Straight neck is an alto and her neck is an What? Would you get up there and stay there? Get in there for a while. That flute or case right there? This one? It's shorter than normal. I got this out of a fire sale in Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona. Uh -huh. Music still burned up. Is it a flute or a... It's flute. Oh. It's not a C flute. I think it's a G. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It was in pieces when I got it. I got it this far, and I've got to polish it and put it back together sometime before I die, maybe. If not, the next guy can do it. <laughs> that thing on the wall over there? Uh-huh. It's an Altonium. It's um, French horns. Back in the day, they didn't march with French horns. They marched with mellophones. Looked like French horns, but they had pistons on them instead of rotors. Early 50s, mid-50s, they started coming out with those things to substitute for the mellophones. They've got a bigger one that's called a trombonium that substitutes for this in marching. Okay. What are you doing? Looking at you. Okay, we'll do a show. <laughs> this is a Bundy clarinet before the keys. Okay, yeah. Bundy gets these or Selmer gets them. They put them on a jig, they figure out where to drill the holes, and put tone holes in them, post them, put keys on them. There. This is an Albert system clarinet that has different fingering on it than the B-flat clarinet you see today. One of these days, I'm going to put new tenons on it, mm, get the bug out of there, <laughs> and make it a working horn. This flute was run over by a cement truck. Oops. Can you fix it? No. Some kid stepped out between two cars, Jay Walker and San Pedro. Cement truck was coming, she dumped back and hit the floor. When we got it, it had a foot joint on it. Band director sent it in, he says, much flute is flat. <laughs> so we took the foot joint and sharpened it to a sharp, to a knife blade, took a hunting knife and crammed it in there and sent it back to him. We sharpened your flute. <laughs> he said it back and said, it's too sharp now. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with it, but I did. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Look at that. Damn it. That's bad. Explain it. What do you mean explain it? 61 years in this business. I haven't found anybody yet to explain to me why that rod straightens out. <laughs> I don't know. It just does. <laughs> it's not real straight yet. It's still been a little bit right here. Don't understand it. I really don't. I saw a guy. He had a piece of whole roll steel. It was about 
Ooh, about that big around. That was bent. He put it in a lathe. He got a piece of wood. Drilled a hole through it. Put that lathe on slow speed in the back gear. So it's running real slow. Put that wood piece of wood on his shoulder and turn that lathe on and he straightened that damn piece of steel out. Wow. <laughs> You're doing it again, aren't you? But I'm still looking at you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got this stuff. I cut the thousands that'll fit valve casings. If I've got a valve case that's messed up, not nick. If it's nick, I got to cut the nick out. If the valve is bent. I got to straighten the valve. But if the casing is bent. I can put this in here. Put the trumpet or whatever it is on here. Take that hammer and beat the hell out of that rod up here. Turn it and it'll straighten that valve casing out. In maybe five ten minutes. Hmm. I was getting forty five dollars for that. I'm going to go for fifty. Peanut fake cries. Yeah, she cries wolf. Yeah, she does. Stop that body from swaying. Carmen! <laughs> home again, home again. Um, we had a good trip. It was, it was a good time. Um, I'm really glad that we were able to go. Um, Carmen had a blast. She was so tired last night when we came home. She slept the entire drive and then slept when we got here and just... Um, I didn't record anything on Thanksgiving Day. Um, we went to a cousin's house um, and I didn't know anybody there. Um, I didn't want to pull my my um, the camera out and be like, can I just videotape us having a conversation or anything like that? So I didn't actually film anything on Thanksgiving day. And today we are kind of just hanging out, um, kind of getting ready. Tanner's getting ready for his training that he's going to. He's leaving tomorrow. So that's what we're doing today. We're kind of um, doing laundry and packing and unpacking and and that kind of stuff. And since Tanner's going to be gone, um, I don't know what kind of um, you know vlogging kind of stuff I'm going to be doing just because it's just going to be me here. Um, or stuff like that, but I'm thinking of starting doing like a, a series of sorts of a different kinds of videos on this channel. So I think I'm going to start doing those. Um, I can still do a little bit of like a vlog type of video, um, but as well as doing the other ones. Uh, we did not do any Black Friday shopping. Um, we went into a Walmart near my grandparents' house and um, we went in Thursday at like 5.45 and you know how they started doing their Black Friday deals like at 6 or 6.30 and there was a line of people going around the store, like around the inside of the store and it was really funny because we were like, it's like I wanted to buy like a thing of chapstick and like a case of beer. Well, I'm not gonna stand in this awful line. It was crazy. People were already being rude and giving you bad looks for like walking in between them. So we were like, mm, that's not. So we left, but that was an experience. Oh my gosh. She started all the way over there and she ended up in here and now she's following Tanner. That's hilarious. 